I've noticed when I pack so much primer on my nose, it tends to get more oily. You know that thing that you do like this, like, da, 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 and I'm not going to do that. Too. Some people say it did not do the work for them. Some say it's overhyped. Hey there, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Christy. If this is your first time seeing my face, you're welcome. Please subscribe, join the VIP family. If this is not your first time, thank you so much for coming back to VIP. In today's video, I'm trying to be so, so fast because like, everything has been against me not to film this video, but I have refused. And so, let's just get on to it. So in today's video, we'll be, I'll be sharing with you guys how I have finally figured how to avoid early makeup you know when you do your makeup and after a while you start seeing oil my god i forgot to see my mic you know when you do your makeup and after a while it gets oily even when you, when you do um primer and all of that stuff to avoid the oil from peeping through but after a while let's say one hour or so you start seeing your face getting really shiny especially if you have oily skin like me my t-zone is very very oily so that day i don't even know what happened i wasn't even planning i just said let me try this thing and see how my makeup is going to last and it did last we went for a wedding that day i had it on for close to went for a wedding from the wedding went to church so i had it i had that makeup on for like six hours and when I came back home, it wasn't really looking very, very oily like it normally would on a normal day. So I'm just quickly going to share with you guys what I did that day. So let's get right on to it. So yeah, the only thing I've done right now on my face is to cleanse. That is, I had my bath then did, um, I cleansed my skin with my facial cleanser so this is the point where if you like you can use your mentana cleansing water or anything you normally use to cleanse your face just do your normal skincare you understand just do your normal skincare so i'm going to start with moisturizing after i must have cleansed some people do serum or those essence first before moisturizer i'm going to skip that because i do not have time so i'm just going to skip using my serum and let me just quickly um moisturize just make sure your hands are clean oh. i'm using this cosex hyaluronic acid intensive cream this is my regular face cream my moisturizer i use for makeup the mismetics moisture potion is finished i haven't restocked yet so i'm just going to use this this is another very good one for moisturizing so don't forget under your eye please as i'm applying it i'm going to be using my fan to dry it so we'll be fast with this process i'm not going to show this entire makeup look so but unfortunately today now i don't have anywhere to go to so i think i'm just going to wear this makeup so i think i'm just going to wear this makeup i, I thought that fan was disturbing so i'm just going to wear this makeup don't forget under your eyes i'm going to wear this makeup at home and prepare dinner and just to leave it on maybe it's like 9 pm and see how wear it wears trust me the normal me even if i, I do makeup and i stay indoors after a while i start getting oily so it's nothing like him um, but you know god it's still going to work because i've tried it before remember i've tried it before so just going to let that dry down now quickly 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 going to let that dry down okay so that um, moisturizer has dried down next thing i'll be using is this um this so from here remember i said when is that time like the thing i tried differently i'm going to let you know so this zaron oil block mattifier primer this is a holy grail you should get this if you don't have it so this primer retains oil for me it does better for my skin than the um Rimmel london stay matte so the time i use just this my makeup tends to last longer than when i use the remail so i'm going to apply this on my face and also let it dry i'm just wiping my hands again 
and I'm just going to use my fingers to apply this so on my forehead I'm not going to forget my eyebrows very important my chin and my nose not so much on my nose because i've noticed when i pack so much primer on my nose it tends to get more oily i feel it's because the skin there feels like something is blocking it so it not so it then fights more to produce more oil if that makes any sense that's why i think so i really don't apply much on my nose but apply don't skip it now when you're applying this primer make sure you avoid under your eyes okay because most people that have oily skin like i do the skin under our eye is most times dry so when you apply too much there it makes your concealer crease when you're done with your makeup and that's not a good sight at all so now i'm going to let this dry because it's in liquid form so it's going to dry and i'll be back with the next that thing primer has dried down next thing to use is this stay matte remain primer so i'll be using two primers from applying the zaron primer it's the stage is a step where was um where it was the game changer for me that day i tried this so next thing to do now is to apply this i'm going to quickly apply this i have one here that i'm almost out so i'm just going to use this i already pressed some of it off i just brought that down so i'll show you guys let me show you this is the primer i hope it's focusing my camera is a bit far from me i hope it's focused well when i'm editing i'll just zoom in so i'm going to apply this primer meanwhile you can use your sunscreen after moisturizing that is if you are going out you can use your sunscreen well i skipped that because I, my sunscreen is only i forgot i just skipped it because i'm not going anywhere nigeria is hard so we're not going to be just using products just like that so i apply this don't forget little on your nose that's if your nose is very oily like mine <laughs> so just apply i think that wasn't enough just put some here on my chin you can also add to your brows because my brows tend to get oily too sometimes then we dry again and i'll be back okay now that um Rimmel primer has dried down next thing i'll be doing is to set my face now i think for this you can either use your setting spray or a setting powder but i i feel it's better you use a setting powder because um we're trying to keep the skin matte and i feel setting powder is better today i tried this technique it was my setting powder i use there are since some persons that that say after this they use them um, setting spray after it has dried down then they apply setting powder but there's no time to do other step but you can definitely try it so i'm just going to go ahead because I'm, I'm also going to um apply my setting spray when i want to blend in my foundation so i think it's okay to skip that now but if you like you can try that so now i'm going to use my setting powder i'm using the setting powder from can you use any good setting powder you have i'm using this one from younger beauty i already opened it let me just show you the cover this um younger beauty blow fat smooth setting powder this one is in the shade cinnamon i don't think it's better to use a translucent powder because again i feel translucent powders they tend to do the job better than like a certain powder in your own shade this is all in my head i don't know i might be wrong but it's just how i feel but you can use any setting powder that i use this so now you're going to be applying that setting powder all over your face press it 
down like this press it down and make sure you use a puff like this okay you can use a lot of smaller ones mine is not here and i can't go inside to go and start looking for it so just set it down on your nose and don't forget your eyebrows if you have oily brows like i do remember anything you're doing on those areas that are really oily don't do too much so it doesn't start fighting through to produce more oil okay so that's it so from here i'm going to be applying my foundation and of course it's better you use a matte foundation this one is the v beauty redefining luxury foundation the pro matte full coverage pro matte full coverage fresh glow foundation so this is in what shade java 9 i mean the shade java 9 i feel i should be a shade lighter but one thing i've noticed about this v beauty foundation is that it changes color it tends to get lighter after you apply it so this java 9 might seem too dark for me when i apply but after a while it just becomes okay on my skin and of course after um applying concealer and all of that is going to look okay like balance i feel it's better to use a foundation a bit a skin tone darker than you than using one that is light because if it's darker it is easier to work your way through and when it is too light that makes any sense now if you notice i'm not applying this foundation on my nose so I'm just going to blend the one I have I have on my face once I'm done blending the other parts of my face so the little I have on my my beauty sponge I'm just going to use that to apply on my nose <laughs> ready to close my mouth just so that that foundation is easier to blend so blend 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 I love love this foundation guys so you can see I'm avoiding my nose okay I'm avoiding my nose I'm just doing other parts even under your eye too you don't have to put so much foundation there because the concealer is going to also get there as well so now I'm going to touch my nose there's still product here I'm not tapping on the one on my thumb on my palm sorry on my hand to apply so i'm just touching my nose from what i already have here see that there's foundation on the nose now so next thing is concealer this is the only step i'm going to show then i'm going to go off camera and finish the rest of the makeup and come back and do the last thing or the two last things rather i'm not going to be applying concealer on my nose you know that thing that you do like this like da, 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 and i'm not going to do that because the one i have here i'm going to spread it down my nose even this one I have here, I think I need to add a bit here. I'm going to be spreading it down. Then I'm going to go over my forehead. You should start from the outer corner where you apply the concealer. I'm already taking it down where it's down my nose, as you can see. Now this already like creates a sort of contour for you as you can see. So you don't really need to like contour con especially if you are dark skin. I said maybe you want to do powder contour later, Sha, it's fine. But I mean you don't really need cream contour like that. For this um, concealer part, I'm just showing you, letting you know that you don't have to apply concealer on your nose. 
that will also keep it from being oily now it's not like we're not applying product on our nose we're applying okay but we're just trying to make it really really minimal okay of course and it is still coming close to your nose again you can just apply a bit on your eyelids in case you want to do eyeshadow but that quantity is not enough for eyeshadow shop, but just spread it there just for the sake of blending this side is blended i'm just going to go off camera blend this set my face um set the face every other thing you do now doesn't really matter that much so you just do your regular setting set with powder you can bake if you want to do every other thing so i'm going to do all of that and i'll be right back so the main steps is the zone primer and the um, rimmel stay matte primer applying the rimmel after the zone primer and then using setting powder afterwards and then when applying foundation i did not apply so much on my t-zone areas especially my nose and also when applying the concealer i did not apply so much right there too so that's it so after everything i'm going to show you the last thing let me finish up i'm going to show you the last thing that was a game changer for me okay guys so right now i am done with my skin work or rather almost done the only thing left is for me to um brush off this excess powder that i used to bake and to do that i'm going to be dipping my brush into my face pressed powder in my shade of powder <laughs> does that off a bit and I'm not really swiping away like press it in let me drop my mirror so press it in as you dust it up and see that way you have more coverage so press in don't just go you get so press it in the same for here let me set the rest of the face then for my eyebrows i didn't i didn't conceal or anything i just use strokes so right now i'm going to apply the setting my setting spray so i'm going to apply this all over let it dry down then i'll come back and apply the finishing spray which is like another holy grail okay so this is going to dry and i'll be back i'm back again now we're almost done that setting powder has dried down i've done my lips and um, my highlights i decided to go for nude lips for this look so now this is the soul pro cosmetics seal it spray now this is what i'll use as my finishing spray for today this is going to lock in everything i've seen reviews about this on youtube some people say it did not do the work for them some say it's overhyped but personally i do not think it's overhyped because it worked for me i used it that time with these techniques i've showed you and my makeup really did not move so i'm going to be spraying this all over my face and i'll let this dry down maybe go to my hair then i'll be back this thing is harsh it feels like it has menthol in it so when you are spraying it please do not mistakenly open your eyes or your mouth i think that's enough let's not abuse it so where's my hand fan i think i got a bit of that in my eye hello do you know this girl <laughs> okay guys so i'm done i came to show you guys the finished look i don't know how i feel about this wig i don't meanwhile this is almost an hour later this is an almost an hour later before you guys saw me where i still had the band on this 6 42 pm this is 42 pm and um i've done my insta because i did them i'm also filming for youtube shorts and tiktok so I've, i did a before look 
so i've done my after look already and yeah these are still looking it's almost an hour i think maybe 40 50 minutes and makeup is still in place it's still right there nothing has moved i'm still going to have this on till 9 p.m just to show you guys how effective this step is so by 9 p.m i'll be back quickly show you then go take it off and retire for the 9 p.m now and this is what we are looking like not bad not bad at all so that should be about three, three or four hours since i i wore this makeup and normally by this time it should be seeing some oil creeping through but there's nothing like that so yeah this technique does work so i'd like you to try it tag me let me know if it works okay thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video i'm just tripping for myself please subscribe thank you